What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are back with a brand new Jack specific review on Series 7 of the Apex Legends figures. So we got something different here today. I have been asked a couple of times now to review this line, so I figured I'll just start when the new series comes out, which it did. Now these figures don't come out that often. The last wave came out like I think last July. That one had Lifeline in it, which was the only figure I cared about in that wave to be honest because I mainly collect the legends only. I don't really care too much about the variants unless they are one of like my favorite skins in the game or they're at least cool looking. But like I said, I promised a full review on this line so I decided to get the entire series this time which isn't too bad of a lineup so in this wave we are getting Watson so Watson's actually the newest legend uh, in this wave right here she's the newest legend here uh, the rest are really like well variants you know they got like their own skin but Watson is the newest legend which I do like because Watson and Lifeline are like my favorite legends you know they're like my two of my favorites um, so this one I didn't really mind so Watson is coming with her interception pylon and that's pretty much about it uh, they all come with their stands of course uh, what's really weird is that she doesn't come with like her heirloom you know she doesn't come with like any rifle uh, she's just gonna be coming with this so that's uh, pretty much all you're gonna get there but for the packaging it's this the you know the exact same as the others you got the apex legends logo right there Watson there's a top view the logo right there or the symbol I would say uh, you know, at the bottom, really just some more information on the figure. On this side, just get Watson. Get an artwork of the character right there. And then the back really just shows the figure. So on this side, it's really just going to be a, a promo shot of the figure. Apex Legends. 25 points of articulation, which I believe all of them usually have that. Uh, but then over here, we are just getting some more information. Like their name, their age, their abilities. Uh, and then of course the other figures in the set really so that's Watson right there next up is going to be Mirage and he's actually getting the folk hero skin right here which you know I actually find pretty weird because you know this skin is like rare like we this skin only happened like once I believe so it's so weird seeing this being made into a figure right now <laughs> you know so they gotta bring the skin back but I've always liked it because it reminded me of Iron Man a little bit uh, at least it looks a little I don't know it looks doesn't look the, the best here in figure form but in the game it looked it really cool uh, but Mirage it looks like he's getting like the bamboozle cereal box and that's probably the Eva 8 master key shotgun that's what it looks like so yeah those are the uh, um, accessories for Mirage and then here's the back figure right there so yeah so that's Mirage and then we have Pathfinder in the war machine skin which is really really cool so it looks like pat fun is getting the g7 scout not entirely sure what this is this could be like some sort of attachment then here's the side pat finder right there and then a back shot right there so that was the packaging right there guys so yeah we are getting ready to definitely uh look at each of these figures one by one here so without further ado guys let's go ahead and crack these figures out of their packaging and take a closer look Alright, so the first figure we'll be looking at is Mirage. So this suit is basically supposed to represent Iron Man really. But the thing is, is that it doesn't like kind of capture it as much because they kind of gave it a matte finish here to this figure. So it's not going to have like a metallic paint to make it pop more. And also because, you know, this part should be a little bit more yellow and a bit more saturated as well. So it doesn't really look the best, um, unfortunately. But this is probably as much as you're gonna get here so yeah it's not gonna look the greatest here and it's kind of uh weird here because i was looking at the packaging and it does look a little bit better here you see how much more the yellow is popping along with the red see how it's like <laughs> doesn't really look the same you know and obviously i know these are probably going to be like the prototype of the figures but this does look a lot better i do wish that yellow did pop a little bit more um, so that does suck right there along with the the gun as well you know it's like a really like a it's like a dark sort of gold really it's not as light as it should be really so yeah that's the only uh 
biggest problem with this figure. Uh, another thing is, I do feel like the neck is a bit too long. And I also think the suit is supposed to come up a little bit around his neck. So it is just really a bare neck. What I do like though is the, the head sculpt. I think this head sculpt looks a lot better than the other Mirage figure right here. You know, I think the sculpt on the hair is a lot better. The way how they got the facial hair as well. Now for your articulation, there shouldn't be anything new here. You're not really going to get a lot of leaning or tilts with this. It's really just going to be a swivel. Uh, for the arms, full rotation there. Hinge to the shoulder. Uh, about horizontal, I would say. You do get your bicep swivel as well. Single jointed elbows. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty decent, right? It's pretty good right there. Then you do get a rotation to the wrist right there. Uh, there is really no vertical hinge or any hinge at all with the wrist, which is kind of weird unless mine is stuck. I always have these issues with these figures. Sometimes they have a hinge to their wrist, but they can always get stuck. Mine doesn't want to seem to move. Let me try this one. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with that hinge. Or maybe maybe this Mirage just doesn't have one. Uh, nothing going on with the torso. Uh, which is unfortunate. I thought it seems like there's like a small ball peg, because I'm see you know I'm getting like some wiggle, like some wiggle around, but I can't really do much else, which does suck right there. Uh, for the legs, he actually kicks up pretty well. Kick up about about here. Single jointed knees is pretty good. You do get your upper thigh cut as well. And then for the feet, I thought it was on a ball joint for a second, or like a ball peg, uh, but it is really just a fixed hinge. There is no ankle rocker. Uh, you can like rotate it, but yeah, it is really just on a hinge. And then you do get your toe pivot, which mine is, there you go. So you got like your toe pivot right there. And then if you want to like get this guy to do some splits, uh, it's, it's all right. This is as much as you're going to get from Mirage to do the splits. So yeah, that is the articulation on Mirage. Uh, some, you know, there is like some uh, improvement uh, for your articulation. Like for example, he is able to kick a little bit better uh, than this one is. If I can let me try to, there you go. Yeah, he is able to like kick a lot higher here. Um, but this one did have rotation to the upper torso. And this one, I think I just dropped a gun right there. This one, you don't get literally no articulation. Or, like, yeah, like, no swivel here at all, unfortunately. So that is a bummer. But I understand it is really the design of the suits, you know, so how they do the figure. But uh, the articulation is a lot better here, of course, because... Uh, the suit is a lot more slim. It doesn't have like all of this stuff around it. So that is going to hinder the articulation depending on the sculpt. But uh, I will say this one is actually still pretty well. I do like this head sculpt a lot better. But uh, there's definitely some improvement they could have done with this figure without a doubt. Now let me get this figure out the way. And go over the accessories that Mirage comes with. So of course Mirage is going to get his stand. They're all going to come with their stands. So you got the... Apex Legends symbol on there. Uh, the holes right there for the pegs. And then you are getting the master key. Uh, which, you know, it doesn't have all the paint on there. But you still are going to get that. And then we have the Bamboozle Stereo Box. Which is actually pretty nice. Um, it is really just like a plastic piece with like a sticker on it. So, you know, you got like some details for the, the bottom of the cereal. Got the top right there. And then you got like the front. I like the faces that Mirage is doing here. So there's the front. The back is about the same thing. You got the side. Hopefully you guys are seeing this uh, pretty well. And you got that side. The next figure we'll be looking at is Pathfinder in the War Machine skin. Now this was always one of my favorite skins of Pathfinder and I gotta say looking at it in figure form it actually looks pretty good. They still got like all the designs around the suit as they should really. The paint is actually pretty well on this guy you know. I do like it a whole lot. 
Uh, now, of course, when budget gets in the way, uh, it's not gonna look as accurate here. And you probably notice it right away, and that's where these black parts are. Uh, I wish they were painted silver. I know they're not gonna look as accurate because it is going to have like the wires and stuff, like stuff around uh, where the arm is. Uh, well, basically, like, yeah, where the black part is. It's supposed to be like a bunch of like wires and like metal in there to make it look more, you know, robotic-y. But, uh, you know, they just got it black here. I think silver would have looked a little bit better. But, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't look the greatest. So it doesn't capture it perfectly. But, you know, for $20, I guess that's all you can really do right there. I also wish uh, where the holographic sticker is. It doesn't really change. As you can see when I do this, it doesn't change at all. But, um trying to because it, it doesn't seem like it's, it wants to capture it that great but i wish it was a little bit lighter it seems a little dark even with the lights it doesn't help a lot uh but it is a little bit dark compared to like uh the original pathfinder right here um this is like a lot lighter um you can like you can see it perfectly you know uh, but of course the screen is a lot bigger too um and another thing you'll notice is the size so yeah this guy it's gonna be a little bit smaller, but it's supposed to be like a different, uh, not like a different robot, but I guess like the design of it. But I don't know, I don't know if this is accurate. Maybe they just shortened the figure or so. I'm not entirely too sure, but this is going to be a lot shorter than the regular one. Now for the articulation, it's gonna be the same thing. The head is really just a full rotation on there. You're only gonna get a swivel out of that, nothing no tilts. Um, you can look up a, just a tiny bit, but I mean, it's I mean, it's not really a lot you can really do with that. Uh, for the shoulders, hinge to the shoulder, really, really good. Uh, this wire doesn't hinder anything. You can see how it's connected to the arm. It's actually pretty good. You do get your single jointed elbows right there, which is pretty great, and then you do have your bicep swivel as well. Uh, rotation to the wrist um I, I think there is supposed to again this i think there's supposed to be a hinge i i, I never really like these hinges for the wrist uh, it, it's really good for my revenant figure i don't know what's going on with there um now for the uh waist or the torso really uh there actually is a rotation here to the top part and then the lower part which is actually pretty good um a ball joint or a ball peg would have been nice but uh you kind of get like a little bit there but it's not a lot it's really just a rotation there so yeah for the hips of course pathfinder is really good when it comes uh to the legs articulation but the guy can kick high about here so that is really really cool which makes sense he's a robot so he should be able to do some crazy poses um so yeah that looks really really good so you can, uh, um yeah pathfinder can kick high and then kicking back is pretty good. It probably would have kicked more, but uh, due to this part hindering that. So, yeah. You're not really going to get anything for any splits. Uh, single jointed knees. You're going to get about here, which isn't the best. It's actually a downgrade compared to the other one. Uh, you do get your upper, upper thigh swivel right there. And then for the feet, uh, again, just a fixed hinge right there no rock or anything rotation to the feet but then you do got uh, you know you kind of get like there's there's like a toe pivot mine just isn't the best uh for some reason i can only like put it down i don't know maybe my other one was like that but that's all you're getting for the articulation so it's uh it almost seems a little bit of a downgrade mainly because i'll actually do one for this one if you own this one uh but this one had double jointed knees and you can see how well it was able to kick uh, kick back like that. So there was that. And then the feet, uh, again, the, the toe hinge was able to work. Even though it wasn't the best. But it, it was still able to work. The only thing that sucks was that it didn't have any rotation there. So it was really hard to try to get this guy to stand. But he was still able to like kick high and everything. And the head was actually okay. So yeah, it's really just that. But what I do like about 
this figure at least it's it's um it's able to stand pretty well because of these on the feet right there so that's great because i can never get this pathfinder to stand i had to use the the stand on that guy but even then even with the stand he was able to fall a couple of times but this one is okay I'm just trying to get it to yeah there you go so yeah that's pretty nice now for the accessories of course you are getting your stand with the guy so there's that you are getting your g7 scout which you can also put on to the figure right here so at least i'll just like, give do a demonstration right there but uh yeah something like that if you want so let me just take that off and then i you know i actually thought this was going to be an attachment but it is actually the uh, beacon scan which makes a lot of sense so you would really just pop the hand out of the figure and then place this on I'm sure it can go in either hand but yeah uh, that's Pathfinder to do the beacon scan closer look at that and finally we move on to Watson now I gotta say the sculpt on this figure is actually pretty good she's still gonna get like all of her gadgets and stuff around her suit and everything they do got all the details in there especially like where the hoodie is I like that they got the details around there and like the headpiece that's like around her head she still got like all of her you know, like her lightning symbol there her gloves you know all of the stuff around her gear as you would you know expect really so it they did a really 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 good job with that now i think uh the weird thing about this figure and let me just say this i think the weakest part about this figure really is definitely the head scope it did you know the head scope does not look like watson at all uh her lips are like a little too red here it looks like she's wearing lipstick uh, i don't know what was going on with that and her hair is like a bit too light and I think that's the weird thing about this figure is like all of her colors are way too light. Like I think her jacket, the orange and the blue should be a lot more saturated than that. The red, you know, all of that really should be a lot more saturated. And I think this is supposed to be orange too. Like they didn't really paint that. And her knee pads, like where the gray is, should be a little bit darker too. She might be missing some paint on her shoes too. So yeah, I don't know what's uh, going on there. And, you know, her articulation is actually pretty solid. It's really, really good. So let's go over that really fast. You are just getting a swivel to the head, so you can do a full rotation there. Not really much of any tilts you can do right there. So you are really just getting a basic head swivel. For the arms, you do get a hinge to the shoulder. It kind of has a little bit of a ratchet in there, but uh, the shoulder is actually really good. I like how they got like that gap right there for the shoulders to go a little bit higher. So she does get a really good hinge to that shoulder right there. For the single jointed elbows, it's not too bad. Could have been better, but it's okay. But I do like how you do get uh, a bicep swivel right there and you can swivel to the elbow as well. So that is actually really cool that they got that. Now you also get a swivel to the wrist as well. Uh, there is no hinge going on there. For the torso, there is actually a ball joint or ball peg. I'm sorry, a ball peg right there. So you kind of get like some leaning. To have her lean a little bit. Not much of a forward and back that you can do. But you do get some tilts right there. For the hips, she kicks forward pretty well actually. This actually, yeah, she kicks. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. She kicks a bit high right here. And then back about there. You do get your upper thigh swivel right there. Double jointed knees is actually, I almost dropped the figure right there. It's actually pretty solid. Yeah, that's actually really good right there. And then for the feet, same thing. You are just really getting a, well, this one's actually a little messed up. Yeah, so you, you are getting like your hinge right there. Uh, no rock or anything, but a swivel. And then your toe pit, which was really stiff right there. But yeah, so that is the articulation for Watson. Like I said, it's not too bad. I do like how it's, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of the joints aren't as stiff as the others that I was having a problem with. Uh, but I don't know if she, it, it's weird because I do see like a joint for the wrist. It does seem like there's a hinge, but I, I don't know. They, they really need to do something about that. 
Now, for the accessories, you are getting your stand, which I don't really need. She actually stands pretty well on her own. So you are going to get that. And then, of course, you get her interception pylon. So this is how it looks uh, compared to her. Now, I will say um, the paint on this thing isn't as accurate. I know like this is supposed to be like like a lot darker than that. I think it's probably like fully black. Um, I think along with the silver parts up here. And it is also missing the paint back here as well. Uh, but you can't actually have her sit on this. So let me try to get her position right here. And try to make it look like she's sitting on it. So this is probably the best I can do. Um, I'm trying to have her like balance it out a little bit. But um, but you get it, you get it, you know, you get it. She can sit on it. All right, there you go. I thought she was gonna fall. I'm trying to have it like, have it like straighten, but it keeps wanting to lean forward. Uh, but it's probably the best I can do. But she can't sit on it, as you can see. So this is all you're gonna get. So yeah, that that actually looks pretty cool though. But yeah, I think it's all right. You know, I don't really think it's like too small. Or too big I think it's uh, I think it's all right now let's actually do some comparisons so let's compare her with some other legends so let's compare her to here is Loba oh almost dropped her all right yeah there you go all right so here's a uh, Watson with Loba right here move the staff a little bit so yeah she is going to be taller so there's that here she is with Mirage and yeah, Mirage is going to be taller which she should be and then let's do this let's put her right here and then let's compare her with caustic and then we'll grab a uh, Pathfinder right here so Pathfinder is gonna be right here so you guys can see where the, where uh, Watson scales right there, and then let's just do one more. But here is Revenant. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this review on Series Seven of the Apex Legends figures. There's definitely still some room for improvement here. I will say I gotta give them props for using new molds on these, along with the sculpt on these figures too. They seem to do a really good job on that. But there is still some areas that still need to be tweaked a little bit, especially the hands. They need to start adding vertical hinges on the wrist because you definitely need that for your action figures to hold their guns properly. There's also times where the hand mold doesn't fit the handle on the guns as well or the fingers can't even go into the trigger properly. So stuff like that is what bothers me a lot with this line. But hopefully they do improve more in the future because... There is still a ton of legends and skins that they haven't even made yet. So we'll see how far this goes. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the review. If you want to pick these figures up, they are available at GameStop and Big Bad Toy Store. They are also on Amazon, but I think they're only up for pre-order as of right now. So you can go on and do that. But until then, take care my friends.